In this tutorial, I'd like to show you the perspective reflection effect from FX Factory Pro. Perspective reflection gives you a reflection and illusion of an object in 3D space with a shiny virtual floor. I'm in Final Cut Pro 10, but all FX Factory Pro effects work in Motion, Premiere Pro, and After Effects as well. You can find it in the Effects browser under FX Factory Pro in the Distort category. I'll drop it on my clip. You can see it immediately jumps to a nice default look with the video footage pivoted in 3D space sitting on a reflective surface that is a black to gray gradient. There are some great presets to get you started with picture in picture effects and some different colored backgrounds to choose from. The centered and facing viewer preset works for me, but I'd like to tweak some of the values to get the look I want for my example. Let's adjust the scale and the distance in 3D space on the Z axis. In the look I'm going for, I'd like a white background, so I'll make my adjustments in the gradient section. These are standard gradient controls. I'll set my end color, which is at the bottom or nearest to me in 3D space, to pure white. I'll go a little grayer on the middle color and a little more on the start color. Don't forget, you can always click the FX Factory Pro logo in the parameters for detailed guidance on this or any other FX Factory Pro effect. I'll go back up to the reflection color control and set this to white. This is the color that is mixed with the reflection. I'm going to make the reflection a little more subtle by easing back on the reflection opacity to taste. The draw gradient checkbox turns my gradient on or off. I like these settings, so I'll save them as a preset. Let's also quickly take a look at the corresponding video conference transition. You can find it in the transitions browser under FX Factory Pro. When I drop it onto a cut, it will immediately jump to a default transition, featuring a perspective reflection effect at the midpoint. All of the settings are very similar to our perspective reflection effect, so I'll quickly emulate the look I just made. I can further tweak the duration of the pause in the middle of the transition. I'll save this as a preset as well. Using perspective reflection, we've created a very cool look and matching transition for our project in just a few minutes. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great effects, and if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at fxfactory.com.